and Bill in Colville, Washington. Hey, Bill, what's on your mind? Bill? Oop, hang on just a minute. It helps if I push the right button. Bill, now you're on the air. Border Patrol in uh, northern Stevens County. Mm -hmm. it's, um, I've lived in this area for over 30 years, and I can't believe it's just like truckload after truckload of these guys uh, with four-wheelers and snowmobiles and what have you, horses, everything, guarding us from those dangerous Canadians. Wait a minute, you're now, seeing, you're seeing a, a, mil a militarization, a buildup of, of, uh, of border guard presence on the northern border? Yes. Wow. And I wonder what they're looking for. They're building a facility in Colville, Washington, with a 97-bed uh, facility detention center. Uh-huh. Now, you know, I mean, the Canadians are our partners. Sort of. Are they not? Depends on what you're talking about. But. Well, well yeah. But... Um, I just want to bring attention to it. Okay. Why? Well, you just did. I don't. I don't know why. I. I think the whole thing, this whole, you know, we got to protect our borders, is crazy. You know, the the vast majority of people in the United States did not come who are here illegally. Did not come across the Sonoran Desert, you know, by by coyote and water jug in hand and all that kind of stuff. That's a that's a small minority. The vast majority of them came as tourists. And when their visa war, you know, expired, they stayed. And it's and that's the vast majority of Mexicans, the vast majority of, of, of Irish illegal immigrants, of British illegal immigrants, of French. Ill I mean, we got illegal immigrants from all over the world. They just, you know, they overstayed their visa. You're never going to stop that. The only way that you can that you can put a dent in that is by putting employers in jail when they hire people who are not citizens. It's really simple. And it's what every other country in the world pretty much does and what Reagan stopped us from doing in 1986. And guess what? Suddenly we had employers who were wiping out industries. When I was a little kid, you could be a carpenter and raise a family. A good union carpenter job? One of my brothers was a union electrician. I mean, you know, construction trades... You could make good money. You could raise your family. You could put your kids through college. Because back then, before 86, you hired somebody, they had to be an American. And, and, and but the flip side of this is this whole, you know, okay, then let's beat up on the immigrants. It is, there is, in my mind, absolutely nothing wrong with anybody saying, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make a better life for me and my kids and my grandchildren. I mean, you know, God bless them if they're willing to deal with the consequences of it. But to say that we're going to say to the fat cats in this society, to the employers in this society, the corporations in this society, oh yeah, you can, you can hire people who are here illegally, and you can even threaten them with exposure if they don't work for $3 an hour, or if they complain that you didn't pay them which goes on all the time, or if they're, you know, if they're women, if you sexually exploit them, which goes on all the time. And there'll be no consequence to you, Mr. Employer, because after all, this is the Reagan Republican policy. We don't have an illegal immigrant problem in this country. We have an illegal employer problem. When, when are going to people wake up to this?